In this video, we will introduce the Microchip SOM1 EK1 Evaluation Board and demonstrate how to get started with running Linux on it. You would like to take advantage of embedded Linux, but the increased hardware design complexity raises concerns. Microchip's MPU System in Package, or SIP, and System on Module, or SOM, are your solution. The integration of DDR2 memory and the SAM-A5-D2 MPU in a SIP removes the high-speed memory interface constraints from the PCB. The SAM-A5-D2 SOM takes it another step further by integrating power management and non-volatile boot memory, which offers single supply and flexible memory implementations like a classic microcontroller. Microchip provides full Linux BSP support for all our MPU development boards, demos, links to source code, and step-by-step -step instructions are maintained on our Linux for SAM website. Microchip is committed to providing the best embedded Linux solutions in the industry. We upstream kernel and bootloader support for all our MPUs to the community. In addition, we maintain stable branches on GitHub while code is being pushed upstream. Let us see just how easy it is to get started with running Linux on the SOM EK. The SOM EK comes with a USB cable to connect to a host computer. The cable provides power to the board and also provides access to a virtual COM port that serves as a Linux console. Add an SD card and you're ready to get started. Everything you need to run Linux can be found on the Linux for SAM website. In the left-hand column, you can find links to wiki pages for each of the MPU development boards. Selecting SAM A5D27 SOM1 EK will take you to the SAM A5D27 SOM1 Evaluation Kit page. Here, you will find information on downloading, building, and running Linux on the board. Provided are pre-built demo images based on both Yocto and Buildroot. There are different images depending on which, if any, LCD display is connected to the board. For this video, we won't use a display. Download the desired image to your PC. You can use a Linux or Windows host computer. For this video, we will use Windows. It will take a few minutes to download. Note that the downloaded file is a compressed image. The downloaded image is a bootable file system with two partitions. The first partition is a fat partition containing the bootloader images, the U-boot environment, and the flattened image tree. The flattened image tree is a format which allows more flexibility in handling various image types such as kernel, device tree, etc. It also enhances integrity protection of images with stronger checksums. The second partition is an ext4 partition containing the root file system for the Linux system on the board. We'll use a tool called Etcher to write the image to a bootable SD card. Etcher is an open source tool that can use a compressed image as input. It is easy to use and freely available from the Etcher website. Launch Etcher, then select the downloaded image using the Select Image button. Insert the SD card into the SD slot on your computer. If you don't have an SD slot, you will need an SD to USB converter. These are inexpensive and readily available online. If the SD card is formatted, it should enumerate as a mass storage device. Select the device as a target. Select Flash. It will take a few minutes for the image to be written to the card. Your SD card is now ready to be used with the SOM EK board. 
The J10 USB micro AB connector provides both power to the board and a USB serial debug port. The serial debug port provides a Linux console as well as a command line interface to the boot ROM monitor and U-boot. Connect the SOM EK board to your host PC using the USB cable provided with the board. Now start a terminal emulator on your host PC. Most any terminal emulator will work. We'll use PuTTY. In the configuration menu, select the serial radio button. Set the speed to 115 200. Now start Windows Device Manager and select Ports. You should see the JLink CDC UART port. Modify the serial line COM number in the PuTTY configuration menu to match the COM port number of the JLink CDC UART port. Select Open. You should see a terminal window. Press the End Reset button on the SOM EK board. You should see the ROM boot prompt in the terminal window. Now insert the SD card in the slot on the board and press End Reset button again. The board will now boot into Linux. When the login prompt appears, type root and press enter. You are now in a Linux console shell. Microchip works with a variety of companies to provide graphics, security, and art of solutions for our MPU products. Whatever your application, we have you covered. You can find more information on the 32-bit MPU Design Center on microchip.com. Thanks for watching.